Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. We have here Bai Yi, and we are going to be building her starting off with her skill priority. So, what do we do with her? Which skill shall be prioritized? And the first one would have to be her ultimate because you need to increase the damage of her ultimate again as she jumps from one side or one enemy to core break them so this happens within a cross area around her up grid upon her next three movements so physical damage and also one core damage to all enemies within a cross area okay and she also gains by the way a 15 percent crit rate bonus for 10 seconds and this effect can be stacked so this one powers up her ultimate be sure to level this up because her play style revolves around her ultimate moving on to the next one so that is your ultimate tempest is the priority next i would highly recommend that you you increase her uh, level for her passive her warm-up exercise because again her key is also damage dealing um, in terms of critting as much as possible. I'll go into the crime brand later and see that her kit, her skill will be tied to her crime brand. So this one increases her critical hit. This is going to take you up to a maximum bonus of 40%. Next up would be her this is going to be her basic attack or her normal attack so you're going to be leveling leveling this up of course and the last one would or the fourth one would be her other passive which is efficient raid by becomes poised if she, if she stayed put for 10 seconds she rarely does stay she rarely does stay put aside from the start probably the effect can stack up to two times when she's poised it grants by a number of um uh, increased attack so attack bonus granted by a stack so up to two stacks for this attack bonus so definitely this will be your last one so just want to recap tempest warm up exercise shadow attack and efficient raid those are the skills in that particular order next up we're moving to her crime brand so this is what i'm talking about you're gonna have to use this crime brand the critical damage plus 50 percent because she'll be stacked with critical rate that she will need additional critical damage to deal a lot of damage of course so i think this is the only set that um i've seen that is going to complement her well because of the critical damage of plus 50 percent next up is going to be her deployment role okay guys as for her deployment role she's going to be looking for for you know um enemies with you know with unbroken course so you'll have to save her ultimate for that as soon as you identify who is there in the field then that is the time that like so for example right now she's still recharging but the boss has three cores by the way so you'll have to uh, be able to um, weather the storm while you're charging up so there you go she already has one to at least give a lot of damage you know as she passes by so again we'll have to be contented with this very big wave not much core damaging by the way so again it's, it, it'll, it will take time to recharge her her ultimate but um, again, it's worth it, especially if it's a boss, a very big boss that you need to core break as soon as possible. So this one, let's uh, just uh, make them squirm a bit. Looking for a boss that can core break. That's core, sorry, not core break. So far, these are mobs. Um, I, I don't know if there is still a boss for this stage. 
that we can core break. But at this point, she is hunting for her last prey. But with no avail. Oh, here we go. Last one. There you go. So the third one is supposed to be dealing damage, much damage as well. So again, build her ultimate, time her with you know bosses or enemies that have multiple cores to be broken and then you're good let's move on to her shackle level okay so shackle level what is important for her so number one is definitely it um important as well after the start of battle recovers one movement count every 15 seconds but again i would recommend also making sure that you go to number two Trick rate increased by eight. Number five is is a ways away, but number four is also good with ultimate energy consumption reduced by three. She has a a big cost for ultimate definitely, and number four will really really help. So that is your at least go to number two. Number two will also get get her an eight percent. But if you go to eight, then definitely you get the full. 16% crit rate from her shackles. So moving on to her crime brand, her exclusive crime brand. And is she worth it for phase three? So Bai's uh, exclusive crime brand is Bai's crit rate exceeds 100%. Uh, when Bai's crit rate exceeds 100%, each 1% excess crit rate would be turned into 0 0.6 attack. So um, again, her kit her her build should be built around increasing her crit rate up to 100 percent and more or less she's gonna deal more damage for you guys so again guys that is it oh, i'm sorry before, before i go is she worth it for phase three yes she is definitely she's going to be part of your main team main squad for her she's going to be doing a lot of damage she's going to be doing a lot of core breaking and um, all, all you have to do is take care of her make sure that she doesn't die so that is it guys that is it for by very simple um build and um just she's not really complicated to use as long as you know how to use her into time um her core breaking um some beginners had a problem before in terms of uh why is she not core breaking? You'd have to move her so that you could core break um, three times maximum. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.